Guys, guys, listen, listen. As soon as I finally want to start recording a fucking video, right? It's just, they, like, for some strange reason, they just want to start mowing the damn ba backyard lawn for some reason at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Why? Like, and, like, I mean, like, uh, usually, the, you know, like, uh, usually, like, they do it, like, in the morning time just to wake, just to wake everybody up. But, hey, man, I got myself a Mountain Dew Spark and... I'm about to watch on how they make uh, Korean pop stars. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I, I fuck with the Mountain Dew Spark. It's the raspberry lemonade. That's what it is. It's not no pink lemonade, nigga. It's the raspberry lemonade. All right, so let's learn how they make Korean pop stars. I used to teach at a Korean hagwon. No one asked. Plus you're white. A hagwon is a private Korean school. We were being watched 24 seven. CCTV was everywhere in every classroom. Which Korea did you teach in like South or North Korea? Because I believe North Korea is like the bad one, right? Or is it South Korea? No, it's no, South Korea is the good one. So she's probably talking about North Korea. In every hallway. I also think that there was audio. We couldn't speak freely about anything negative that was happening. I felt very uncomfortable around my assistant director. Uh, bro, it's just like that book, 1984. He had brushed up against me a few times. He touched my butt a few times. You start to think like, not necessarily being- Oh, good. And, oh my goodness, bro. The pants and boots. She's a liberal. You could just tell by the pants and the boots. Like, out of all people to sexually harass, you choose the woman that's wearing these pants and this boot combination. She's obviously left-leaning and liberal. Flee the scene. Flee the fucking scene. I'm suicidal, but what do I do? Midnight running is a term specifically for Korea, for English teachers who are in similar positions that I was in, who their bosses are breaking laws or breaking rules or treating them horribly, whether it be racism, sexual assault. It is for people who their last resort is leaving and not telling anyone. That's what you should do, like, at that point, I, like, uh, honestly. Just leave with no, like, warning. I wanted that'll... to teach at a hogwan originally because my cousin has lived in Korea for over six years. Teaching or working with children, rather, was more my passion. Working at a hogwan turned out to be one of the worst experiences of my life. Mm -hmm. The children definitely are overworked. I was teaching them... Uh, how do you get overworked as a student? You know what, never mind, because I would always bitch and complain about writing an essay when I was in school, so... Mostly English, but also illegally was teaching them ballet. There were not enough... How do you illegally teach ballet? What? People working in the school, teaching. I was watching multiple classrooms, like three at a time what? almost, with four-year-olds, you know, very young kids. Kids are jumping on tables. And one kid actually tried to like, jokingly throw himself through a window. It, it, just fucking uh, jokingly just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> teachers funny. would have far less breaks than the foreign teachers. They were way more overworked. I've seen teachers running through the school, not sitting down for like eight hours a day. I've seen many of them cry. One of them would be in tears because my director just yelled at her and I can't even go. Like, do you see what I'm talking about? Over there, I felt very uncomfortable around my assistant director. He had brushed up against me a few times. He touched my butt a few times and he got like very close to me and it was just me and him in the break room. And I was like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> Please get away from me. I wanted to tell my director because I knew that that was like a big deal, especially with hearing other instances of them touching my coworkers. And she also, I felt she would be understanding. She did not care that he'd done that. She basically wrote it off as not being a big deal which is very upsetting. Yeah, nah, see, like at that point, you like uh, you just gotta leave with no warning either, just leave. Like just randomly disappear and never return. Even maybe as a woman, she'd understand that. My coworker found porn on my assistant director's computer. 
it was in a folder on his desktop. Man, they really got some real freak balls out here in the world, huh? Like watching in like your workplace is crazy like i remember one time in school there was like and it was like simultaneously too like three different kids got caught looking at porn like on the computers and it was so all you had fuck? to do was open that folder and you would see them and there were children around he teaches children i just find it incredibly repulsive dude he would look at it while children were around oh my goodness <laughs> oh it's not looking good for you koreans now boy i'll tell you what i mean like your pop stars suck k-pop sucks worker did report it to my director but as usual nothing came of it and she shrugged it off this shows you the lengths that this woman is willing to go through to keep her business afloat that she does not want to fire someone that is looking at porn and sexually harassing her employees damn that is that is that is bad for business i don't know why you what that is terrible for business why the fuck did you why didn't you fire him and you're an owner what the fuck? Breaking, i would have done it if she didn't try to fire me and give me a way out my director told me, hey, like, you don't follow me. You don't follow me. Which I believe she meant, like, you don't do what I want all the time. So oh, really? Like, oh, shit, really? Go ahead, fire me then, bitch. Yeah, I don't follow you, whore! And she said, okay, so you're just gonna have to go. This I was about to say, yeah. yes. <laughs> Being treated like that <laughs> by... All right, so besides all these uh, wagwans, uh... Yeah, cock, 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 cock. So, what did I learn from, from that video? What exactly did I learn? What did this video teach me? Well, it taught me that uh, Korea is an interesting place. I mean, you know, they got Squid Games and uh, that one uh, zombie show on Netflix. But besides that, I've never heard anything else positive about that place. I mean, uh, uh, you know, like uh, Korean pop music is apparently good. Uh, 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 Apparently, hold on, let's, let's listen to a K-pop song real quick. Hold on, this is going to be my first uh, reaction to K-pop. Uh, most of you people watching this video uh, probably were, uh, weren't even alive to watch Tokyo Drift. Anyways, uh, I learned absolutely nothing from that video. Uh, like, uh, 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 besides that, the world is just a cruel and evil place. Why did I yell that? Anyways, bro. Uh, yeah, bye.